Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little miscellaneous haul for y'all. These are little things that I picked up along the way while I was Christmas shopping um, just at like TJ Maxx or miscellaneous stores that were on sale because of the season that it is and things that I maybe needed to pick up to replenish in my collection or maybe needed to pick up for a stocking stuffer or thought that I could use it as a stocking stuffer or something like that. So let's just jump in. So the first thing I picked up was actually these, ooh, my bag is falling apart over here, these Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponges. This is a set of four and I got this for the same price that I would normally get one complexion sponge. This is my favorite, my go-to complexion sponge. I know a lot of people are into the beauty blenders, but I'm sorry, I'm not going to pay $20 on a beauty sponge that I have to replace every couple of months. So it's just not going to happen. These sponges work wet or dry. They have a nice flat side to them too that gets all over your face. And they also have a pointing, a pointed side that does really well to get into the corners and crevices of your face that you need them to get into. This is, like I said, my favorite sponge. I will probably end up giving one or two to my daughter because she also uses this sponge. But I picked these up, like I said, for the same price as I would normally pick up one. So good deal. And this was at Kohl's, I believe. The next thing I got was actually something I got at TJ Maxx. It is new to me and I thought I would try it out. I thought about also putting it into a giveaway, but I think I want to try it first. I've heard really good things about it. So, and I'm always on the, on the lookout for a new cleanser that doesn't take me a whole lot of work. I do like my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Cleanser, but that one's really expensive, and this one was like four bucks at Target. So, and it is e.l.f., the Hydrating uh, Gel Melt Cleanser. I've heard really good things about this. Several people that I watch on YouTube think that it's amazing. This is also from e.l.f., which is a cruelty-free company. It is a drugstore item, so even at four bucks, probably the regular price of it is probably around five. And I think you can only get this stuff online if you get it. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. But it says no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates. What is that word? P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. I don't know. A uh, gentle and hydrating formula transforms from a gel to a milky cleanser to easily dissolve makeup and cleanse the skin. Skin is left looking revitalized, refreshed, and radiant, infused with argan oil, rose, vitamin C, and purified water. So I'm super excited to try this. Some other things I picked up were also, I believe, from Kohl's. These are some lip patches, Tony Moly lip patches. I got three different ones. I got mint... The pink one doesn't tell me what kind it is, and this is honey. I didn't have very good experience with the K&C lip mask, so I thought I would try a different lip mask, and these were super inexpensive, so. I got some more face masks. I did get a Tony Moly Luminating and Tony Moly Hydrating Unreal face masks. I love these. Face masks are amazing. If you guys are not using face masks at this time, they are relatively inexpensive. They're like $2.50 to 5 bucks a piece, somewhere in there. Some of them are a little more expensive than that, but you really don't need one more expensive than that. The Tony Moly ones are really amazing, and they go on sale all the time for like $2.50, $2.62, something like that. They are, they are amazing sheet masks, and if you guys aren't using them yet, you really should think about entering them into your skincare routine. I didn't start using them until probably about a month ago, and they have done wondrous things to help my skin, especially in this time of year where my skin is super dry. So some other things I picked up at TG Maxx, so you know they're super inexpensive, were these giant things of makeup wipes. So the makeup wipes I currently have are the Equate, which is a Walmart version of the Neutrogena Night Soothing ones, and I hate them. They will be... <laughs> They will be something I will never buy again, I will never talk about again, except for in my fails video products that failed me this month or something like that. They're almost gone, thank God, and currently all I use them for is to wipe off my hands when I am doing my makeup because 
they sting my eyes so bad. These ones, I'm hoping, will not. I did pick up the Global Beauty Care Cucumber Extract Makeup Cleansing Wipes. Helps to unclog pores and lift away impurities. And I also picked up this one, which is the Global Beauty Care Retinol Cleansing Cloths. So the retinol ones help to minimize wrinkles and restore pH in your skin. So picked up those. These I actually got in a Bunko prize, which is kind of funny, but they're makeup, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. I got this Color Story lip liner, and it is in a very pink color. I'm not sure where they got these. I'm assuming they're probably like Walmart purchases or something. I'm not sure, but that is super pink. I also got in the same basket this liquid lipstick and it is there's no color listed on these guys probably because they are whatever they are it is also very pink it's this guy here it is that color which goes really well with that lip liner but probably not a color I will ever use I got this Jenna Taylor matte liquid lipstick and it is this color. I might give them to my six-year-old daughter. She might like those. And that one is this color. I kind of dig this one a lot more than I do this one. That bright pink just doesn't suit me very well. They're both very metallic, so they are kind of pretty. I don't know, but I'm trying to put together like a makeup bag for using one of my, uh, one of my Ipsy bags, a makeup bag of real makeup for my six-year-old because she's mommy does this YouTube thing and she's really into makeup so I think I might probably stick these in that bag for her and wrap it up for Christmas. The last two items that are part of this haul are from TJ Maxx and I was super excited to pick these up. Um, I have picked up quite a bit of Kat Von D from TJ Maxx lately. They've also currently got some ABH items uh, and they also have Marc Jacobs and Estee Edit. You guys, if you have a TJ Maxx near you, should really be checking out your TJ Maxx sales. So the two items that I got most recently are these Shade and Light Eye Quads. One of them is in Rust and one in Plum. And these are the colors on them. So this one is all like browns and orange. That looks to be like an orange color. And this one's all purples. But the quads are pretty amazing. And Kat Von D has an amazing formula for her eyeshadows. They are vegan. Or not vegan. They are cruelty free. I know that she has made a statement that she plans on going totally vegan in the year. You know, whatever. But her eyeshadows are amazing. So I haven't decided what I'm doing with these guys. One might go into the giveaway. One might go to my daughter. They both might go to my daughter. They both might go in the, in the giveaway. One might go to me. <laughs> I'm not sure quite what I'm doing with these, but an amazing price for these guys. I know that they sell, I want to say for like 20 something dollars, regular price. And I know that on Sephora right now, they're on sale for like 15 bucks, but I got them for much less than that even. So uh, think about going to your local TJ Maxx to find out what you can pick up that is an atrocious cost, normal price. Because I would never spend 20 something dollars on four colors of eyeshadow because you can get a full palette for, you know, 39 or 49 So the last thing I got was a little goodie bag from Kohl's because some of this stuff did come from Kohl's. And I got, I don't know how to say this, I think it's Bulgari Omnia uh, Fragrance. It's called Coral. I got a lot of fragrances, which is sad because I don't use fragrances. But I also got a Versace Bright Crystal Absolute, which is super pretty. I got that one. And I got a Strivectin Tightening Neck Serum Sample, which this is so tiny. How do they even get away with giving away something like this? Like, yeah, it's a sample, but you can't even get one use out of it, which is funny. I got Marc Jacobs Decadence 
looks like that. That's what the normal bottle looks like, which is really cool. I kind of dig the purse thing. That's another thing. I have a um, perfume collection. I don't wear perfume, but I have a perfume collection of all these things because they're pretty. Then I got a... It looks like another perfume sample, but I can't read the bottle. I think it's N-E-J-M-A, and it's called number three. I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe stick that in a sample basket so that I use it at some point. And then just a card, which is telling me to enjoy a free beauty service at Macy's Impulse Beauty Locations. But it's a coupon for a free beauty service, so that's really cool. We do have a Macy's here, but it's not... I don't, I don't think their beauty section is very, very big. I think I went in there one time looking for something, and the guy was like, uh, no, we don't carry that kind of stuff, but we can order it for you. And I was like, I can order it for me, too. And he goes, yeah, but that's not keeping us in business. And I'm like, well, then carry the item that I want, because, like, I can order it, too. And I get points for ordering it from where I want to order it from versus from you. Like, I was just here seeing if you had it, and you don't. So carry it, or I'll order it online myself. Thanks so much. <laughs> One thing I can say about those lipsticks that I was just showing you that I want at Bunko that I might give to my daughter. Look at this guy. I have been rubbing the heck out of him with a makeup wipe and he is not wanting to come off. So it's got some good staying power. So anyways, that was my random haul of things that I picked up along the way while I was Christmas shopping. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for clicking on my video as I absolutely know that you do not have to do that and I so much appreciate that you want to spend part of your day with me. That is a blessing. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would genuinely love to have you as part of my little YouTube family here and um, I typically post quite often. I uh, I think when I first started this, I was posting like twice a week, and then it jumped up to seven days a week, and now I'm in this place where I'm trying to figure out this work-life balance thing, like I'm working all the time, and I've got this YouTube thing I want to, you know, get planted, and over the last couple weeks, it's been very difficult, but my promise in the new year is to make this a priority in my life, because I really do enjoy it, and I have a lot of fun, and I enjoy listening to the comments, or not listening to the comments, but reading the comments from y'all, and interacting with you all, and feeling like I have this giant family. So, I really hope that you want to spend more time with me on a daily basis and will definitely subscribe to my channel. If not, that's okay too. I will catch you next time. Bye guys.